You know, you get your diploma at graduation, so you're, uh, you're a high school senior. As soon as you walk across the stage, you hand your a diploma, and you know what you are? You're unemployed. Yeah. Hey guys, Aaron Wright here with the Construction Channel. We're at the Academy of Craft Training in downtown Birmingham. What you're about to see is a group of students that have gone through this program over the last few months. And instead of going to party over spring break, these kids went to work. My name is Omar Goodwin. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I went to Midfield High School, and uh, that's when I found out about the, you know, craft training. And uh, when I found out, I wanted to sign up for it because I know I want to do it. The best part I like about the craft training is I love the hands-on. I love hands-on, and I love the job simulator program. It made me feel like that I'm already hired on to a company, and I'm actually getting hands-on. And um, I love the instructors. Translation from working with the craft training on to now. Um, it wasn't, it was a small change in it, but it wasn't a major difference. It's like I was prepared for it. Our overall objective is to employ the kids. So over um, Christmas break and spring break, over Christmas break, we employed 66 kids. And then over spring break, it was over 70. And if they successfully complete the program, they can get full-time employment. So this is our second year in the program. So it started 2016-2017 school year. And what happened was the private construction industry saw the need for good labor. Everyone's retiring or there's just not enough help. This program actually puts the kids to work, not only with contractors, but in the school. The kids built this, this wall here this year, or these classrooms. You know, all the electrical contractors, all the GCs that we call for lumber to put stuff up and to build and do things, yeah. you know, that, that's just the awesome part about the school, and that's what makes it work. There's a 24 schools and 14 school systems. I'm on the phone getting industry to volunteer and send superintendents, HR managers, whoever, down here to interview. We had an interview day on February night. We interviewed 300 kids. And then we selected 250 out of that 300. So there's 50 kids that didn't get a slot here because we ain't got room for all. On the internships, we, we start them at $10 an hour just for an internship. Yeah. And then when they graduate high school for the first 90 days, $600, they're, they're going to make an average of about $12.50 an hour. That's cool. And that's what they start out at. And then at the end of that, if the company's satisfied with them, they like what's going on, they like the person, they offer them employment, they're probably going to get anywhere from a $2 to $5 an hour raise right off the bat. What we'll do is we'll measure from corner to corner. 33 and a half divided by two. All right, what we're doing in here, this is gonna be a classroom. And we're getting prepared and ready to hang boxes up and start running our MC cable for lighting. For, you know, the lighting crew. The best crew here, if I'm not mistaken. This young gentleman right here, being hands-on today, helping me out. Hopefully I can keep him something these next couple of days and he can carry it with him for the rest of his life. I'm looking for 100% of them kids to find it, be offered employment. Whether they take it or not, that's up to them. Yeah. But I feel like we're going to place anywhere from 95 to 100% of these kids in jobs, and then hopefully they'll stick and be in construction for the rest of their life. We're preparing these kids to step out in the workforce and number one, be safe. Number two, do quality work, and number three, be productive. We're focused on work ready. Right. When they graduate high school, they want to go to work. I want them to have a job lined up before you. So when you go yeah. across the stage, you're like, hey, I'm going to work for any of these great companies. And that's our recruiting pipeline for next year. You got, you, you're asking to do this from all these, 
head honcho. <laughs> oh God, I'm not ready. Look, you caught me off guard. I didn't know this was. Are you recording right now? Jay, please stand with me. <laughs> <laughs>